medial approach, to the elbow, and humerus. This video has been produced from a book source. I would like e thank editors Mark D. Miller A. L. Al. Cytotyan, Orthopedic Surgical Approaches. Miller, Mark D., Anakar Chabra, James A. Brown, Joseph S. Park, Francis H. Shen and David B. Weiss. Orthopedic Surgical Approaches. 2008, Elsevier, Saunders, 2015. For detail reading you can read book above. Indications. Transposition of the ulnar nerve, medial epicondyle debridement, open reduction and internal, fixation, ORIF, of coronoid, process fractures or medial, epicondyle and condyl fractures, contracture release, heterotopic, ossification excision, and medial, collateral ligament reconstruction. Positioning. Supine, with the arm in supination on a hand table, can flex the elbow and bring across the patient's body after exposure. Incision. 8 to 10 cm longitudinally centered, between the olecranon tip and medial epicondyle. Superficial dissection. Skin and subcutaneous tissues are carefully dissected. Medial, antibrachial nerve branches are identified distal to the medial, epicondyle and protected. The ulnar nerve is identified within fascia posterior to the medial, epicondyle incise fascia and all points of compression over the ulnar nerve to isolate and protect the nerve during exposure. Superficial dissection. Skin and subcutaneous tissues are carefully dissected. Medial, antibrachial nerve branches are identified distal to the medial, epicondyle and protected. The ulnar nerve is identified within fascia posterior to the medial, epicondyle incise fascia and all points of compression over the ulnar nerve to isolate and protect the nerve during exposure. Superficial dissection. Resect the medial intermuscular, septum and decompressed sites of ulnar nerve compression if ulnar nerve transposition is planned. The epicondyle and medial column can be exposed for ORIF after the ulnar nerve is transposed, incise the fascia over the superficial flexor muscles and retract this anteriorly to expose the common flexor tendon origin on the medial epicondyle. Deep dissection. Visualize and protect the ulnar nerve at all times incise the anterior one, third of the flexor pronator fascia, and underlying muscle and divide, proximally, leaving a cuff of tendon, for repair. Elevate underneath the flexor, pronator muscle and expose, the elbow capsule. Place a, home and retractor under the, brachialis muscle to protect, the median nerve and brachial, artery. A capsulectomy can be, performed at this time to expose, the elbow joint, coronoid fractures, can be exposed and ORIF can be, performed with this exposure. Elevate underneath the flexor, pronator muscle and expose, the elbow capsule. Place a, home and retractor under the, brachialis muscle to protect, the median nerve and brachial, artery. A capsulectomy can be, performed at this time to expose, the elbow joint, coronoid fractures, can be exposed and ORIF can be, performed with this exposure. Extension. Proximal extension can be performed, along the medial supracondylar ridge, take care to prevent injury to the medial, collateral ligament origin on the posterior, aspect of the medial epicondyle. Dissection can be followed proximally in, a superior steel manner to expose the, medial condyl and humeral shaft for, ORIF of medial column fractures. Distal extension is limited by ulnar nerve and flexor pronator mass. Closure. Transpose the ulnar nerve if indicated. Close subcutaneous tissue and skin with suture. Hazards. Medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Ulnar nerve. Median nerve. Brachial artery. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.